Hey, this is Bethany. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you this Dream Street palette tutorial. This is a palette that Kathleen Lights did in collaboration with Colourpop and I had never tried their palettes before and I was pleasantly like almost shocked at how good this was. So um, I just did this look with some really shimmery glittery eyes and I had the urge to wear this all week because I felt so confident in it. So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry about bug meowing into my microphone and let's proceed. So first I am pulling back my hair with this headband that was sent to me by my kitsch. I honestly think this looks like unicorn blood from Harry Potter. I don't know, tell me what you think. Then I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Priming Water. I've been using this for the better portion of like half a year. Then I'm going to prime using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I've already talked about this enough in my last two videos, but it is my favorite primer and it doubles as a moisturizer. Then I'm using this weird little balm thing. It's called the Pure Cosmetics Hydra Lift Gel Under Eyes Smoother. I just feel like my concealers on my under eyes go better over this, so I've just been using it. And then I'm going to be using the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. Now I won't tell you too much about it now, but it is on the higher coverage side and it is actually pretty pale. I plan on doing a full review for you all very soon. Um, I tried to apply it first with a sponge, but I didn't like it because this is a thick formula. So then I cut over to my Sigma blending brush, or maybe that was actually my e.l.f. one. So there's my $6 dupe for the Sigma one, is the blurring foundation brush. And for concealer, no surprise here, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape. This was one of my yearly favorites. If you haven't watched that video yet, please check it out. I've got a lot of favorites that you all haven't really seen me talk about yet. And I do actually use this as a primer for my eyeshadows that are going to come next. And I'm just smoothing out that foundation with a damp sponge. Then using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, I'm just setting my face before we begin on the eyeshadow. So now we're hopping over to the Dream Street palette and I'm starting with the shade Magical which is described as a matte yellow peach. I think that's pretty fitting and I do think this is a great warm transition shade that's kind of bright. Then we're using this shade called Potion which is described as a matte reddish rust color. I can kind of see the rustiness but it's like a faded, you know light rust. I don't know. But I'm bringing those colors down on the lower lash line as well too, focusing them on the outer side. And both of these so far have blended beautifully. Then we're dipping into this really potent shade called Water Bearer. It is a cool matte teal shade and I'm using a small brush just to focus it on the inner outer edge of the eye. Honestly, between all the shades I used, this one had the most fallout. Then we're going to be taking Mermaid Boy. <laughs> which is a stunning metallic teal shade. It has a lot of like depth to it and it's a little bit shifty. I just freaking love this shade because it's teal but it can kind of lean a bit emerald depending on how you're looking at it. And I'm using a small blending brush to just kind of lightly diffuse it. I'm picking up this fallout here and flicking it away with a stippling brush. And I'm just kind of going in and tidying things up but laying down more color where it's necessary. I also got carried away with that green and I had to clean it up a bit. Uh, this is a really potent color so <laughs> you just want to be very careful and slow using it. And then I'm moving that mermaid boy down to the inner tear duct. And then after adding more impact with warmth, I'm going to hop over to this color called Kaleidoscope and we're going to marriage that green to that warm tone on the lower lashes. This shade is described as an intense metallic silvery nude, but I find it to shift a bit green, which is really fitting with the color scheme. So there's where we're at right now without lashes, without glitter, and I like it on its own, but we're going to add more. I'm using the NYX Epic Ink Liner, and I'm going to add a wing to this. And it's going to be, you know, a little bit bigger than my soft little baby wings. Then a bit of mascara and we're on to lashes. And you've seen these before. These are the V-Lux Silk Chiffon Lashes in Ball Gown that were by INV by Kiss that I partnered with. I still have them because they hold up for multiple uses and they looked really well with this look. 
Then for blush, I'm using a warm toned one. This is the True Blend Blush by CoverGirl. And my first try for the lips was actually this NYX In Your Element Lipstick in Glossy Pale Pink. I think it kind of worked with the warm tone on the teal eyes. It was just a suiting color scheme, but I do change from this lip color in a little bit. Now for glitter, I'm going to be first using the NYX Glitter Primer on my eyes and applying it with a brush just so it goes where I want it. Then I'm using the From Nick Love Everyday Glitter. This is an iridescent one with a pink gold yellow shift to it. It's so freaking pretty on this teal and I don't know why I've never done this before on this particular eye color, but I freaking love it. I did add some chunky glitters, but I removed them and opted for one single star above each eye. I just thought that was way prettier. And now we're almost done, but we're going to be changing out lips and liners. So I'm using this NYX Slide On Liner in Glitzy Gold just to line my waterline on the lower lash because it, it didn't look right with it being blank. I just didn't like it. And then for lips, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Bow and Arrow. This is one of my favorite nudes that I found this year, but it is a very like warm brown nude. Um, and I just kind of lean towards these. And look how perfectly it goes with that eye. Even with that dumb face I'm making, it looked good. Alright, that is my finished look using the Dream Street palette in collaboration with Kathleen Lights and ColourPop, meaning she collaborated with them to make this thing. And guys, I just, this palette was cheap. It was like $14 or $16. I really love this palette. It's really impressed me and this is my first foray into ColourPop, so I'm going to be buying more of these. So I hope you all enjoyed this look, this video. If you want to see more videos from me in the future, please follow me or subscribe to me on this channel and check out my other social media platforms as well. I chat on Twitter, I ramble on Snapchat, and I post pictures and things on Instagram. So I hope you all enjoyed this again, and I thank you all so much for sticking around. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.